Tonight we're covering the storm damage across the area. And let's go to 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin, who's on State Park Road near Paris Mountain in Traveler's Rest. Kirsten? Yeah, I'm standing smack in the middle of State Park Road in Traveler's Rest, right near Paris Mountain, as you said, where you can see crews are out here blocking off this part of the road where they say power lines have fallen down into the woods, causing a fire. Now, we did see smoke coming from the left-hand side earlier. It looks like that just went out about 10 minutes or so ago behind that truck. We do have video of that we want to show you right now. You can see in that video smoke coming from the ground in the grassy area. I'm told that there are several houses in the area nearby where that fire was, and we did see at least one fire truck out here trying to put that out. We also saw electrical crews as well. And there are several power lines crossing over this part of the road too. Uh, obviously a very dangerous situation when it comes to severe weather. Now we are standing by one of the fire trucks as well. I want to show you they are blocking off this part of State Park Road to traffic on both ends. There was a major backup earlier. Cars were being detoured as well. So if you're in the Traveler's Rest area right near where we are, we want to make sure you avoid this area if possible. Again, we're going to continue to monitor the situation as best we can, and we'll try and get an update for you as to what exactly happened, the extent of that damage in the woods there and the fire. We'll make sure to bring it to you live on air and online as well. But for now, we're live in Traveler's Rest. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. All right, Kirsten, thank you. And now let's get over to Aaron Rogers, who's in the midst of the storm in Anderson. Yeah, Aaron, you've been following the damage all day. What exactly have you found? Some downed trees, obviously. So right now we're in Anderson County and it actually just started sprinkling here, but pretty storm, strong storms rolled through this area earlier and this is some of the damage it left behind. You can see this tree has completely taken out this fence and this is just an example of some of the damage homeowners across the upstate are continuing to have to deal with as these storms have continued to roll through our area throughout the week. But earlier today, we traveled down to Abbeville County to see some of the damage there. How there were huge trees blown over in yards as we drove through Abbeville County and some of them just barely missing, crushing some cars. The strong winds also blew roofs off of businesses and churches like here at this beauty shop at Calhoun Falls in Calhoun Falls and at the Solid Rock Community Church just behind it. We just uh, put in a completely new sound booth and sound system and, and uh, new security cameras and different things and, and had a lot going on. And then this came along and just uh, completely destroyed it within just a matter of minutes. And as you just heard, this damage is costly. That church pastor told me just to fix his building to repair it, rebuild it will cost nearly a million dollars. Now, he does plan to rebuild, but as you see, He's not alone in the damage and the cost to repair all of this storm damage. Live in Anderson County, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. Quite a bit. Thank you, Erin. There are quite a bit of people without power as well as these storms are sweeping through. In Greenville County alone, there are more than 4,000 without power at last check. In Cherokee County, there are just under 1,200 and another 700 outages in Pickens County. We check with Blue Ridge Electric and they tell us that there are nearly 2,500 customers without power right now, mostly in Pickens and Greenville counties, 280 in Oconee County and 65 customers in Anderson County. Well, the folks at Broad River Electric say that they have 80 outages in Cherokee County and we'll be keeping an eye on the storms and bring you the latest on WSPA.com and of course the 7 News app.